Anna Isna Izzah binti Abdul Wahab and I will present introduction about MPSK. Okay, MPSK is a modulation where data bits select one of M phase shifted version of the carrier to transmit the data. Thus, the M possible waveform all have the same amplitude and frequency but different phases. The signal constellation consists of M equally spaced point on a circle. Multi uh, uh, MPSK signal shift the phase angle of the carrier frequency to one of M discrete values during the symbol time t for the represent representation of n equal to log 2 m binary logic signal for the transmission of information. This David and I will present about the section literature review. For the first journal, we took MPSK demodulation algorithm based on pattern recognition. So this paper presents an MPSK demodulation algorithm based on pattern recognition technique and theory that acknowledges MPSK order and simultaneously eliminates phase shift interference. For the second point, system module is created based on the assumption that the system is fully synchronous on the AWGN channel without signal amplitude attenuation in transmission and transmitted system modulation is exactly the same as traditional modulation. The demodulation system consists of calculation module, IQ, cluster module, decision module and module grade decoder. Okay, for the second slide, it shows the block diagram of the system. Where from grey coder to the channel is the grey coder. MPSK modulator shows the modulation process where the calculate I and Q until clustering decision module grey decoder shows the demodulation. Okay. For the second journal, it shows uh, the title is Automat Automatic Modulation Identification of MPSK Signals Using Differential Signal and its Higher Order Cumulants. Classification of automatic modulation plays an important role in smart communication. For the recognition of MRE phase shift key, keying MPSK signals, a new method based on future extraction is proposed. As features, as features, cumulants of the input samples and differential phase sequences were applied in 4th and 8th order. The cumulant based features are shown to have robust anti-noise capabilities. Simulation results show that with the proposed algorithm, the correct classification probability PCC is higher than the existing low signal to noise signal to noise ratio. Third, General, the title is a comprehensive study and performance comparison of MRE modulation schemes for efficient wireless mobile communication system. In this paper, wireless communication system based on audio signal transmission over additive white Gaussian noise, which is AWGN, channel performance of MRE modulation schemes, MPSK, MQAM, MFSK is analyzed in terms of probability of bit error as a function of SNR. MPSK and MQAM show better performance for lower modulation order based on the result, whereas these are lower with higher M. The BER value for higher M is smaller in MFSK, but it is worse because of the distortion at the receiver end of the reproduced signal. A lower modulation order can achieve the lossless reproduction of the recorded voice signal at the receiver end. Okay, for the fourth slide, it shows the block diagram of the system. Source of encoder, channel encoder, MRE modulator represents the transmitter section. Then it goes through AWGN channel, additive white Gaussian noise. Then when, after the channel, it goes to receiver, which consists of MRE demodulator, channel decoder, source decoder, and then the audio signal is recorded. For the result of the MPS game, uh, we have given the MRE. MRE is the modulation order or number of possible signal. Uh, the M 
value is equal to 2 given that fc is equal to 250 kilohertz and the fd is equal to 25 kilohertz so the given two equation for this formula okay for bit one we use x1t equals to square root eb times with uh, uh, we have to change the frequency f2 we have to find the k k is the number of bits per symbol so uh, first of all we have to find the m m is equal to 2 uh, times we or 2 power of n okay the n is uh, given uh, 2 2 times 2 and we get 4 so uh, to find the value of k okay we have to log uh, 4 over log 2 and we get k is equals to 2 so we have to transmit uh, the signal by formula below uh, which is x1 i t is equals to a cos 2 pi f i t okay the range is uh, 0 mass range uh, in equals to t and t small t range with the i uh, i must less than m okay uh, we have to get the value of fi uh, the formula of fi is fc plus uh, 2i minus 1 minus m uh, times with the fd so we just insert the formula uh, insert the value fc is equals to 250 kilohertz and plus, uh, plus with uh, 2i minus 1 minus m m is equals with the uh, m is equals 4 and times with the fd fd is equals with uh, the value of 25 kilohertz and we get uh, 250 kilohertz plus uh, 2i minus 5 uh, times with 25 kilohertz okay and this uh, formula we have to find the value of i which is uh, range is 1 2 3 and 4 based on the equi uh, equation above fi is uh, the frequency transmitted fc is the center frequency and the fd is the frequency derivation so um, we have to find the value for i equals to 1 i equals to 2 i equals to 3 and i equals to 4 for the frequency so for the frequency f1 we get 250 kilohertz we have to minus 3 times 25k and we get 175 kilohertz okay for the uh, i2 uh, we find the f2 is equal to 250k minus 25k so we get 225k kilohertz and for i3 uh, we find to find the frequency f3 250k hertz plus 25k we get 275 kHz and lastly for the frequency 4 uh, f4 we find that 250 kHz plus 3 times 25 kHz and we get 3 to 5 kHz okay, uh, we can get the transmitted care frequency fc uh, from each d bits Okay, uh, starting 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So, 0, 0, we get from the frequency F1, which is 175 kilohertz. For 0, 1, we are at the frequency F2, which is 225. And for 0, 1, 0, it uh, at the frequency F3, 275. And lastly, at uh, 1, 1, uh, at the uh, frequency f4 3 to 5 okay okay i will explain about the discussion 
for this modulation schema, we should use gray coding to map bits into signal. For BPSK, the M is equal to 2, while QPSK, the M is equal to 4. QPSK and BPSK are special case of this modulation. The PSD of MPSK is similar to the BPSK except the spectral is narrow on a frequency scale normalized to bit rate. M array PSK requires more complex equipment compared to BPSK signaling. Uh, the applications of MPSK, there is a Bluetooth with connect it. We connect with low cost PDF, Java enable phone, RAJ EDA, smartphone, personal GPS, long range UH, FRFID reader, and also the short range HFRFID reader. It's also widely used for LANS technology. And lastly, is contactless operation along with RFID. Some prominent features of M array PSK are the envelope is constant with more phase possibility. This method was used during the early days of space communication. Better performance than ASK and FSK, minimal phase estimation error the receiver, and lastly is the bandwidth efficiency of M array PSK decrease and the power efficiency C increase by the increase in M. Thank you. This is the application of MPSK. Uh, first, uh, the Bluetooth of the communications. Uh, the range is to low cost PDA, short range HFRFID reader, long range USFRID reader. Uh, personal GPS and uh, Bluetooth in smartphone, uh, rugged EDA and Java enable phone. Enable phone. It is widely used for LAN technology and contactless operation along with RFID. Main features of Mary PSK are to envelope is constant with more phase possibility. This method was used during the early days of space communication. Better performance than ASK and FSK. Minimal phase estimation error at the receiver. And lastly, the bandwidth efficiency of MARI PSK decreased and the power efficiency increased with the increase in M. The conclusion of MPSK, the performance of a modulation scheme is often measured in terms of its power and bandwidth efficiencies. First is power efficiency. In order to increase noise immunity, it is necessary to increase the signal power. The amount by which the signal power should be increased to maintain a certain BER depends on the modulation scheme. Power efficiency describes the ability to preserve the fidelity of a digital message at low, low power levels. Second is bandwidth efficiency, which is increasing the data rate in price, decreasing the pulse width of the digital symbol, which increases the bandwidth of the signal. And lastly, defined as the ratio of the throughput data rate per hertz fundamental output bound C over B equal to log 2 in bracket 1 plus S over N, where C is the channel capacity, B the bandwidth in hertz, and lastly, S over N is the, is the signal to noise ratio. Thank you.